Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Salty LP and I'm gonna show you how to fix the problem with OBS and the NVENC encoder because maybe you noticed, maybe you're not, but I noticed it um, that there's some issue with the encoding profile high and the uh, NVIDIA encoder. Um, well, I figured it out. I was working the last three days only on it because it was pretty fucked up uh, sorry for mentioning it but still um, I fixed it I figured out how because well if I am going to show you what I mean if you go on um, advanced well the processor priority shouldn't be changed at any time although you can go um, above high um, but just regular do it at normal so let, don't change everything um, my NVNC preset is actually blu-ray disk because um, it is actually the best quality you can get, so I I would prefer Blu-ray disc and not the um, what the yes the NV default. I I, I really recommend Blu-ray disc. Stay at that. Encoding profile high. This is the tricky thing here. What I figured out. Um, well, when you capture the videos with the encoding profile high and everything else, I can show you. Yeah. Mm, I didn't change anything. Okay, um, you can see I used the NVIDIA and VNC encoder and 2000 um, bitrate, you know, kilobits, and <laughs> custom size buffer, buffer size is um, zero, you know, to activate the VRF or how it's called again, I really can't remember. Um, so you can um, say the program it should take so many kilobits. Um, how it wants, but I don't do it. I just want to have my um, 20,000 bitrate, you know, because this is actually a pretty cool, um, uh, well, setting because you can say, okay, this is, the, well, the best quality and um, a low, um, a low file, a low file size. So you can take 20,000. So this should be really it. And uh, well, if I capture the Witcher with it for like half an hour, I only get a, well, the file size about three to four gigabit. So it's not so big. And this is actually pretty cool. So, and it gives really, really good um, graphics. How we can show you like, this is, I guess, I want to show you the difference between um, the NVNC encoder um, before and after something happens, something changed, what makes the YouTube videos so laggy. This was before, before something changed. I'm going to tell you later. Look at this, how smooth it runs. It's just like, oh my god. It's really, um, this is 60 FPS. And, um, well, there are not so many micro blocks and all this stuff. But still, it is actually a pretty cool graphic. And, um, you see, it runs totally smooth nothing really um, um, is what you can say against it. So the NVNC encoder and OBS with 20,000, 20, uh, you know, with a 20,000 bitrate, encoding profile high and Blu-ray disc gives a pretty damn good quality. Uh, even I say it's better than uh, the X264. Uh, well, when you're encoding with a processor, this can't really take my game. So let's go now into the forest. Okay, that there maybe um, comes so micro blocks. It's totally normal, or you know, the, the picture of the screen gets blurry, you know, so um, so unsharp, you know. It's just like <laughs> like that right now. So it's totally normal because sometimes you, <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> what the horse says, but um, it's totally normal because um, the the game has to um, choose what bitrate is now enough for something, and um, well. It, it's totally obvious that uh, this game um, is with 12,000 or 20,000 bit, bit too slow, but, well, a bit too less bit rate, you know, so it just seems like so unsharp. You can't take uh, like uh, the, the in-game graphics. This is impossible to, to capture the in-game graphics and render it down so that this is the same quality. And if somebody, uh, if somebody did it, just tell me it, please. I'm working on it like hell long. Well, but still, this is pretty damn graphic. Now we came to the to the point what I uh, wanted to tell you. This is now um, a part after a part after something changed. And look, 
it's it's crap right look at this this is not anymore 60 frames per second this is what i'm going to tell you now this is the reason um or the fault of the nvidia yes it's fault of nvidia and this is pretty um <coughs> this is pretty um annoying because uh, you think maybe OBS changed or did some uh, something on the settings changed and all this stuff but no it's the fault of Nvidia and I can tell you why <coughs> Nvidia is updating well how, how many times is Nvidia updating I guess one month monthly to two two times per month like in this um, this time they're updating and uh, with one update um, Nvidia crashed well, not really crashed, but did something with an update that, you know, on, on the settings, uh, advanced, that after uploading onto YouTube with the encoding profile high, your 60 frames per second, I just dropped to 30 or 20, how you just saw. And, um, well, but first, excuse me for my English, I'm from Germany, but I'm trying to tell you what I really want. Um, and this is the reason. Nvidia just fucked up with some settings with um, the uh, uh, come on with shadow play. So what I did was I have so many fucking I have so many <laughs> things here. This PC. Then you go yeah. By the way, you go to C. Then you go to Nvidia Display Driver, and you download. From Nvidia, from the Nvidia page, I really can't show you right now where it is. Um, you go to Nvidia and search manually on Advanced for this update. This is the latest update Nvidia brought out. What is compatible with the high encoding profile? This is the uh, 353.62. This is the <coughs> the latest file Nvidia updated, and this is perfectly this runs perfect with obs and the nve and c encoding profile high so i really recommend you this to just um yeah well you have to downgrade then the uh, the driver but uh i really can't see any difference so um i will tell you just to do it try it out well for me it worked perfectly um this was my solution for the 60 frames per second issue with the encoding profile high and in the nvidia and vnc and i hope you liked it it would be really cool if you could recommend me or just write something down give me a like whatever and um, if you want to see more about it well you can also do cross well you know uh, cross um, capturing with like you see with obs um, multi-platform this is pretty cool like how you see boop second this is pretty awesome so i could or you could, you know, um, capture with OBS multi-platform your um, for local recordings and stream with the normal OBS on Twitch. So you could do both things together. This is also pretty cool. And um, well, let's see. Right now, I just want to tell you how the um, how you can change or how you can fix the problem with it and. Well, now I just say thank you for looking at my video. I hope it helped you. Um, if it helped you, you can just write something down in the uh, comments below. And um, well, see you around. Thanks for watching.